Hi, it's Real and Raw with Lisa. Liking that title quite a bit. Um, today we're catering a party, an office party for 30 people. <clears throat> and as you can see, I have quite a few things going on here. This is a um, bruschetta with fig jam and manchego cheese, which will melt before we leave. These are little tempura um, shrimp that are going to be for the sushi rolls later on. Then we have um, sushi with a spicy yellowtail tuna roll with uh, cucumber and uh, smelt eggs. And then we're going to do, well I'll show you that later, but right now we're going to do uh, tuna Thai spring rolls. That includes tuna, obviously. Mango, and which I got those slices like this. I took the mango and sliced it like this. Down, down, down. And then I cut the ends off, spread it out, and peeled the meat in there. Fabulous, isn't it? Huh? Yep. Pretty good. I, I mean, I just figured that out today. It's having a moment. All right, now, there are different kinds of um, rice paper wrappers, but they're all dry like this. So I'm going to make a few Thai spring rolls. So I'm going to take warm water that's in this bowl. I mean, if you're really good at it and you're Thai, you pour boiling water over it, man, and it's like instantaneous, but because I don't understand that concept, I really don't know um, truly how to do that. We are also going to have um, lobster. Remember the lobster we did yesterday? Boy, if I had a lot of comments about that dealio. You know, I really tapped into the animal and people, and they're, they're either angry about it, disgusted by it, because, um, you know, reality is, you know, it's, it's a difficult situation. It, it can be very hard on people. But anyway, the outcome of this salad was uh, very nice. And, um, excuse me for a second. Um, we're going to put them in these little cups. And they're going to look like this. And they're going to have a little spoon and some potato chips, Maui onion potato chips, and it's going to look like that. It's a very nice sort of dirt. It's just lobster's a very sensitive situation. I'm going to leave it in the fridge because, you know, God forbid I make anybody sick. That would so ruin my day and their day. So, here we have the skins. See what happened? Isn't that fascinating? I think it's fascinating. It looks like a rubber. Does everything have to be that way for you, darling? Everything. Isn't it? Well, you are a Scorpio. You really can't help it. Forgive him. <laughs> My beloved audience, forgive him. You, you could do a double wrap with that. Anyway, here we have... Um, you can barely see. You can barely see what's going on here. So now, you put some tissue down so you can no, dry no, it and no, stuff. No, 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 because this skin's very fragile. I've I've been working really? with it. It's different kind of skin. Yeah, the first ones I used with you can actually do that. But these, man, these are industrial. These are no, no screwing so those around. Those are the thick ones, huh? Yeah. Hmm. Um, so I'm gonna put some cilantro down first, some scallions, and for uh, presentation, maybe the mango next. Two pieces. Two slices of avocado. Um, probably because it's, it is a tuna tie roll, so I guess tuna is the movie star here. So we'll do that, and then we're going to sprinkle some sesame seeds on top of that. That look awesome. I think it does. And you know, I've got this cucumber for the. Uh, Yellowtail, spicy yellowtail roll, but I've got plenty of it, so I think I'll add a little cucumber. Then we're going to fold over like that. And then, you know, pull it in tight, but don't make it too tight because the skin might rip. But these are, like I said before, industrial spring roll wrappers. I mean, like, I'm so happy I found them because normally I have to use two rolls. And we're going to put them on here like this for now and 
since these are a little bite-sized hors d'oeuvres and I'm serving with a sweet Thai chili sauce, we will cut these in half. And your knife should always be a little wet. And look at that. Look at that. Mm. Mm. Enough with the sex noises. Do not date the Scorpio. Bon appétit. <laughs>